Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how to install a free CDN using Cloudflare. This will work on WordPress and other websites because we're not going to use a plugin. Cloudflare is an awesome way to improve your page speed, get the free SSL certificate and protect your website from attacks. And best part is, it's totally free. Arnie, how does that sound? Wrong. Tip sweat punch. I will first show you how to install Cloudflare. After, we will adjust most important settings. Then I will show you a cool plugin to control everything from your WordPress dashboard. And at the end, I'll show you real user data and how much Cloudflare improved my page speed. And you will find out why Cloudflare made me feel like Hercules. Disappointed! My website is actually very optimized already. You can see that my homepage gets already 97 on GT Metrics and 91 on Google. So for this video, we're going to use Cloudflare, which is the most popular CDN in the world. And the great thing about it, it's free. And Cloudflare works a bit differently like the others. Basically, we're going to change our DNS settings to point at Cloudflare. And this way, it's able to increase our security. Also, it improves the performance. And there's some other benefits. Like if your website goes down, Cloudflare will still serve files to your users. Next, just sign up for Cloudflare by clicking on the sign up button here on top. And then enter your email and your password. But I already have an account, so I'm going to just log in. It's super simple, you should be fine. Once you sign up, you get this kind of a page where it's asking you for the domain name. So just type in your domain as it is without the www. Just, in my case, it will be punchsalad.com and then click on add site. Next, it will ask which plan you're going to use. The free one is really good one. So just select for this tutorial, the free one. Later on, I'm going to show you what you get with the pro one, but that's for another tutorial. It's free. It's free. It's free real estate. Then click on confirm plan. And now it's going to scan some of your DNS records. And in just a sec, it will show you everything that is, it can see publicly available. And here you can see there's this orange clouds. That's what's going to be pointed at Cloudflare. So if there's something you don't want to point at Cloudflare, just click on the orange cloud and it will become gray. But in my case, I want to just direct everything through Cloudflare. But this is, for example, if your email stops working, this is a great place to start to debugging it. So you can switch off, for example, the webmail for that. But that's for later. For now, just keep it all enabled. And if you're happy with this, just scroll to the bottom and click on continue. And this is the page where Cloudflare is asking us to change the name servers. So in my case, my domain is registered at Namecheap. So I need to change the DNS records there. So let's go to Namecheap. And I'm going to show you how to do this on Namecheap and GoDaddy. And now Arnie will demonstrate how he changes DNS records. You've just been erased. So in Namecheap, you need to go to your domain list and find the domain you want to change. And then click on manage next to it. On this page, scroll down until you see name servers. And here you can see I already have custom DNS. So if you are pointing to Namecheap, just change them to custom DNS in this drop down. And then you need to change the name server one as Cloudflare is telling us here. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. And then the second one, same thing, copy and paste. And then in Namecheap, you need to click on this green arrow to confirm it. And that's it. Now you have to wait for a couple minutes. Usually it takes only a couple minutes, but sometimes it might take a few hours. And then although Cloudflare tells you that it might take up to 48 hours, but in my experience, that never has happened. You lie! Next, I'll show you how to do it in GoDaddy. So in GoDaddy, actually, you have to go to the GoDaddy dashboard and then click on the home and then go to domains. In the domain manager, you will see your domains and then the one that you want to change, just click on it. And on this page, when you scroll down, you'll have the name servers. I don't have them here because this domain actually doesn't exist anymore, but it will be here. So you change those 
as I showed you before. Just copy the name servers from Cloudflare and put them in here. Once you've changed your name servers, just make sure you scroll down here and then click on done, check name servers. In the beginning, you probably won't have anything, so it will take a bit of time. You will also get an email once Cloudflare is actually in control of your name servers. Until then, just wait. And you can click on this button time to time to see if it actually works. So for me, it took about 10 minutes and then I clicked on this recheck now and I get this message that actually Cloudflare is now active. So you can make your victory dance now. Tipsuit Punch cannot be held responsible for any injuries during Victory Dance and failed attempt in making a split. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Once you get this message, you can actually now adjust some other settings in Cloudflare. And let's start by checking the SSL certificate, which is free when you use Cloudflare. If you don't want to use it, you already have one, you can just switch it off. But in my case, it's going to expire soon, so I'm going to actually just leave it at full. And if you start seeing issues like your website is not fully secured, that means you have mixed content warning and you can just check out my video in the description and I have a tutorial how to solve it really easily in WordPress. Next, let's take a look at the speed. So here, just click on this flash icon. And actually, I've already done this, but it will take you a minute or so for it to analyze your website. And it will give you this estimate how much faster Cloudflare can make your website. So here, if you scroll down, there's more information about it. And what you need to do here is just click on this enable rocket loader and that will make your site slightly faster and it will enable certain features that Cloudflare provides. So you can see there's some estimates how much it will improve and what all of that will look like. Then if you click on the optimization tab and you scroll down, you can see there's other functionalities. Some of them you need to pay for and some you don't. The super useful one is the auto minify. So just check these checkboxes, all of them. And then here at the bottom, there's actually nothing you can do without having a, a paid account. Next, let's set up some rules in Cloudflare so that you can make your website a bit more secure. It will make sure you're ready for anything. So just go to the page rules tab and here just scroll down a little bit and you see this create page rule just click on it so the first rule we are going to add is that if you're on wordpress you want to have your wp login more secure so just type in punchseller.com slash wp dash login dot php and don't forget the star in the end. And then in the drop down, select security level and high. So this just means that if somebody is attacking the site or is trying to log in many times, Cloudflare will actually detect this and it will try to stop the attack. And then let's create another rule. And in this case, we're gonna again type in your domain. So punchseller.com slash WP dash admin. And this is basically everything inside the admin panel. And don't forget to add the star at the end. And we're going to actually increase the security level on this one as well. Then we're actually going to bypass the cache on this one. So if you do any updates in your WordPress dashboard, you can see it immediately. And then we're going to disable the performance improvements on these pages. You don't need them there. And then if there's any apps, just disable them, those two, just in case. Then if you scroll down, let's add third rule. And we are going to add, and again, just type in your domain. And then just type in your HTTP domain so that we're going to actually redirect all traffic from HTTP to HTTPS so that you have a secure site for all your users. And then in the drop down, just select always use HTTPS and keep the other drop down as first and then save the changes. 
oh one thing i noticed let's go back to the first rule let's add a star in front of the domain name as well this way you will include www and also non ww addresses in this case everybody just lands on a secured http secured website arnie what's your website's name just bodies and now this is an optional but we're going to actually install Cloudflare plugin and what that does is that you can actually control most of the things from your WordPress dashboard so that's really useful you can clear the cache so let's do that by going to plugins add new and then in the search box type in Cloudflare and then just install it and don't forget to activate it so once the plugin is activated you can find it under settings and Cloudflare and for this plugin to work you are going to need to sign in with our account so just add your email here and we need this API key which is really easy you can get it from your Cloudflare account just go to the dashboard and then here click on your profile and then click on the API tokens tab and here you need to select this global API key it might ask you to confirm your password one more time and I got actually a recaptcha but just fill this in and then click on view please don't share this key with anybody because if you do you might get in trouble later on somebody could hack your system or use it so please don't show it to anybody i'm gonna change the api key after this video so just enter your email and the api key you got from cloudflare and now actually you can see that you have all these options already in your wordpress dashboard so you can control everything and probably the most important button is this purge cache so sometimes when you publish new content it's good to also click on the purge cache button so that it clears everything that is old it tells cloudflare that it needs to renew its servers so that actually the users can see the newest content other than that there's some other features here you can take a look they're pretty much the same as in the cloudflare dashboard but what's cool here is also cloudflare has its own analytics and you can see here if there's anything um, for example any threats or anything like that you can see everything in here no shit okay let's take a look how well cloudflare does on page speed so i ran the tests already so you don't need to wait for them gt metrics i got 97 score and a y slow score was 91 fully loaded time is pretty much the same as before uh, so biggest difference is with y slow score and now here i actually have that i have a cdn same thing with Google, it improved slightly from 91 to 95 and desktop is still 100. So I'm quite happy with this result. But what's really surprising is when I took a look at my Google Analytics stats because that really breaks down by, uh, by country and also I can compare better because I have more data there, real users. They just use the website differently from robots. La 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 la. Ah. Okay, let's take a look at the page timings and how fast it actually loads. So here I have a comparison between my normal website without the CDN and the blue one is actually with Cloudflare. So you can see that the page speed is kind of, yeah, they're just going up and down depending on the day. This is for nine days. And as you can see, what's surprising actually is that, for example, the average page load time is a bit in the minus. So that means my normal website without CDN actually loaded faster without Cloudflare than with it. Kind of strange, right? But then if you look, there's actually good metrics like average redirection time increased, also some other ones here, but then average server response time, that just plummeted. That's more than half a second. Definitely something I would need to look into why and here, if we look at the per continent, please note that here I use document content loaded. This is same as DOM ready. 
uh, if you've heard of that this is usually the metric that uh, tools like uh, Google Page Insights uses and also GT metrics they use usually this DOM ready and uh, we can ignore not set for me the main ones are Europe America and Asia so as you can see in Europe it's pretty much the same in America it's more or less the same the version without Cloudflare did a bit better but the difference is quite small here and in Asia actually same thing the website without Cloudflare actually did better but overall kind of surprising results work basically this just means that my server at the host papa is actually performing better than cloudflare or bunny cdn so the question is should you have a cdn uh since the differences are so small i might consider having cloudflare because there's that additional protection and also they provide the free ssl um, but it's actually not that necessary for at least for the page load times my name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!